All right, I looked up and down the internet to try to get a good explanation for this, but I guess I'll have to make one. Anyway, so the most commonly available deep cycle batteries in the U.S. probably come from Walmart. The uh, biggest ones you can get for amperage are right there. They also make a max version right there. But they're very similar, and I found that uh, they're pretty much compatible with each other in a battery bank. So this is a 24 volt battery bank. Um, this is how I did it. So you put all the batteries. There's 20 of them here. You put all the batteries like so. You see how they're lined up? You got you got negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay. So just look at it as a 12 volt battery hooked to a 12 volt battery. Okay. They're just lined up together. And what you do is you put them all together initially and you make sure all your connections are good like you take all the nuts off and get it ready and you have all your connectors these are uh, old surplus welder connectors I got from eBay I've got a bunch of them and decided to finally use them um, so you can use custom made ones too which I've used in the past just as, just as fine um so you go two 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 and all the way down i did 10 you can do as little as two for 24 volts you want to do more than that you can so anyway you get them all together ready to go and some might say you might want to not have the batteries so close together so they can cool down easier it all depends on your connectors if you're able to do that. Um, once they're all lined up, you're going to attach negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, etc. Okay, that's the first thing you do. Next thing you do is you have all the negative terminals on this far side. You're gonna connect them all, all the way down the line. Well, you have if you just have two, you're working with two only. Then you don't have to mess with that. But more than more than two, you're gonna go negative to negative to negative to negative, on all, all the way down the line. Okay. That's, and next, guess what? You got all the positive ones to do. So you're gonna go. Positive to positive to positive blah 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 yada 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 all the way down Okay So this is known as a series parallel connection I've used this on a group these are group 29 so I've used it on a group 27 battery bank with great success It only had eight batteries in it So this is my upgrade um the amperage on this is pretty high, but the voltages are fine. And to test that, I hooked up this cute little voltage uh, USB um, outlet, right? And I figured if if the volt if the amps were too much, it would blow it. Well, it, it hasn't. It's fine. It's been running good. So apparently. As long as your voltage is where you need it, you can have as much amps as you want. You're fine. That's why you can take a little battery out of a device, a little 12 volt battery, and hook the device to a big 12 volt battery, and, it's, and it doesn't blow anything. So that's a that potentially you could have more than 10. Sorry, there's 20 here. <laughs> potentially you have more than 20 here. Um, and you just keep buying these up and 
and hooking them up. Now these all are different ages because you can't buy this many at one time. I had to make multiple trips across different states and things. And the this is the first time they've been hooked together. Um, and that's important when you do lead acid you want to do it all at once you don't want to be adding to it and stuff like that I mean you can get away with it for a little while but uh, you just it just it make it your your bank will fall down to the weakest voltage of your weakest battery so you do them all at once uh, these have never been cycled yet so um, they were all about I tested them they were all about um, about that voltage ish and uh, they're all equalizing right now I guess you'd say so next step is hook them up to solar I'll probably run that as a video as well but I just want a big house battery um, it gets really cold uh, in these parts is eastern Washington so I'm not quite up to the lithium bat home battery thing yet I want to see how things go uh, I do play with uh, 18650s and and whatnot. I, 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 I instead of having a one battery that does everything, I'm trying to understand all the different battery types and get a hold of, be a master of all of them instead of just playing games with uh, one type. Because uh, different applications, different temperatures, different lifespans, stuff like that. Um, I was restoring restoring some old types and uh, it takes a long time. It's it's been <laughs> over two years, and uh, with the amount of free time I have, it's going to take a lot longer than I figured. So I just broke down and bought these common uh, lead acid deep cycle. They're called marine batteries. RVers use them and whatnot. I I don't think you would use this many in an RV unless it was massive. So anyway, I just want to make a little video so you understand how to make a 24 volt home battery bank from uh, deep cycles from a common source it sees almost every county has a Walmart so um, here in the US so I'm pretty sure so anyway you should get a hold of these um, if you're hard up and you can't find connectors like you don't want to go on eBay or Amazon you can buy uh, starting motor cables I've done that before uh, you, you get the highest gauge, oh, sorry, <sighs> the lowest gauge, because the lower the gauge, the fatter the cable, and um, it won't be this fat, but they'll be fat enough. Um, I've done that too, so that's a suggestion. So, and you can go on the online Walmart uh, and order a, a whole bunch of them at once, so you don't have to dilly dance with uh, trying to get them from the stores you can just get go online and order all the starter motor cables you want and just use them as terminal connectors so or some more advice all right well um, you want more make sure you subscribe to the channel it builds up the channel and uh, lets me know what I should be focusing on so uh, any other tips? Uh, yeah, don't let anything fall on this stuff. You, you'll if it's if it's conductive, it could weld or arc and spark and whatnot. I might definitely like I had some pots and pans and things that were hanging above these. I got rid of those because an earthquake or something, that's a no go. So I don't have and don't have any liquids and stuff like that. I could fall on them. Uh, think about placement. Um, I have a multiple battery banks. I just want a house battery, you know, in the kitchen. So uh, I could use it to run a um, refrigerator, a freezer, you know, a crock pot. That's over, overlooked quite a bit. Crock pots are excellent with battery banks. Slow cookers, um, just it, it's really easy on your battery bank and it just cooks all day and it's nutritious and delicious. Size of patient battery banks and handle that. Oh, I'm gonna hook this up to solar. Have a uh, MPPT charge control. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it exactly. Gotta do it soon though, because summer's coming up, and I wanna finally use this thing. Um, so yeah, it's sitting at uh, 25.5 uh, or so, straight out the shelf, 
and um, there you go. So hopefully you'll be able to have your home uh, battery bank the easiest, uh, easiest uh, uh, method, which I think your easiest availability. All these other batteries, it's just uh, it's a little bit more dicey. Uh, I'm not trying to scare anybody away from different battery types like like lithium and stuff, but I definitely recommend a lead acid deep cycle for if not the longevity, the simplicity. Also, these can get pretty cold. Uh, like just imagine your vehicle out in the cold, and your battery still works. Like lithium, when they get down to freezing, it cause uh, issues and things. Um, and so these, these, if you want to cut your teeth on home battery banks, I def definitely recommend lead acid. And then once you learn the different things, how to do it, uh, you can probably move on from there. Like, but uh, but as far as availability and price, uh, we're talking short-term price, right? Because the longevity of this bank will probably be around five years. Um, and uh, I have another bank that's that's uh, going on four years now made out of group eight group 27s uh running running the 24 or 20 volt or so uh they're at the four-year point so they're still good but they say about five years what you expect so uh, and with the price wise uh the max they go for about 90 bucks and the regular ones they go for about 80. i bought a few maxes just because i got impatient um the maxes, uh, they they say uh, 114 amp hours at one amp, and the regulars are 122 amp hours at one amp. Um, but the, these maxes, they say uh, there's there's more cycling ability. But um, the way I run my my banks, um, I uh, I I have these uh, inverters that are meant uh not just for home batteries but for vehicle batteries and they cut off before uh it gets dangerous for the battery um and so i don't cycle my batteries that much at all because these inverters they automatically cut off when it gets down to the point where it would be able to start your vehicle you know in real life and so um that's a good precaution and it also extends the uh, usability of your battery banks if uh, you're not cycling them so hard. And I can't cycle them that hard, so. And then they get charged, you know, at least a little bit every day from solar. Uh, maybe not those, if it's solar panels are covered in snow, uh, no, no way. So I have other ways and means, and I just have to incorporate them. I have almost no free time, but what little time I do have, I want to make little videos to help people out. And uh, we can export things and whatever. So, well, other than that, um, yeah, more details on these cables. Uh, I don't know if I can find one that has some writing on it right there. Maybe if you can see that, that'll help somebody out. It's upside down, sorry. But yeah. I got a few others actually. Maybe I'll pull one of these up. See that. Okay, here we go. So these are welding, uh, made for welding. There we go. And uh, I think someone custom made them, and then someone surplus them or sold them on eBay, and I. As part of a lot of it, I bought something else, and they wouldn't fit the batteries that I bought. And that's another story. So I had them hanging around for a while, almost two years, and I was like, "Might as well use them." How many I got? And I, I did the math, and uh, figured I'd have about 20 deep cycle batteries uh, wired up. You know, 12 volt deep cycle wired up for uh, 24 volts. I say 24 volts, 28 volts. It's, it's just a range. Some people say 28 volts. Some people say 24 volts. It's the same, same range and the same, same idea. Um, so that's at 20, 25. So that's between 24 and, and obviously 28. 
the inverters I'm speaking of, uh, they they generally shut off at about 21 volts. So uh, anything above that's pretty good. So anyway, um, I have some more tips. I don't want to give all my secrets out in one video, so I want you to stay tuned. Uh, subscribe and like and all that crap because uh, believe me, it does help the channel. Basically, advertisers they see what's what's trending, what's hot, and they do that by how many views, how many subscribers, how many likes. Well, how many dislikes? I, I don't. I try not to get dislikes, but uh, and then the advertisers they think your video is pretty hot and they they reward you with their whole deal. So that's that's the whole point of people asking that. And I know it's it's old, but it really should be like a. Uh, involuntary muscle reaction when you like something just like it and subscribe because uh, this is another subject but YouTube if you start subscribing to channels with content that you like pretty soon your 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 feed of, of new videos and what videos you might like it's going to be so tailored to you you'll be like oh my gosh it's reading my mind it might be too so <laughs> might be reading you <laughs> everything else you're doing but uh Go ahead and like and subscribe. It'll help help the channel help you out because you'll get more content along these lines and whatnot. So, anyway, so that's the end of the sales talk. And uh, this was this has been how to wire 12 volt uh, marine slash RV deep cycles uh, to make 12 to 24 volt. Right? Can I say that less clearly? How to wire marine deep cycle slash RV batteries at 12 volt rating into a 24 volt configuration. With as little as two, you can do it, or four, or six, or eight, or yada yada. I've done 10 here. Uh, and 11 or sorry man I must be tired so uh, you can do as little as two and in pairs you're gonna get two or four or six or eight or ten or twelve or fourteen or sixteen or eighteen or twenty does that does that explain it do as little as two and do as many as you want apparently some people say if the battery bank is too big, it won't be able to charge properly. The uh, charge amps will be too minuscule because it will be divided over the whole thing. Uh, the way I usually overcome something like that is I have a couple different charge controllers and they're wired in at different different areas. Like I might be the uh, might, might have the two ends wired into one and the two ends over here wired into another. And you can do different things like that. It's kind of like if you, a balancing thing. Like, um, I don't know, if you were designing a pond, you'd have the fountain this way and fountain that, or any coming stream of water, um, the waterfall, you'd have them on the different sides to balance it all out and whatnot. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to get into it too deep, but there's ways to overcome that. So if you have a battery bank that's too huge, of course, then it probably won't charge. Um, but I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of solar and a lot of, uh, capability I'm going to put on this so I don't anticipate that the main thing though is have enough if you can to last you a day or two and uh, my little 8 uh, group 27 24 volt doesn't last me the whole day uh, except in the, the most brightest parts of the year where the, the sunlight is is so uh, extenuous during the dimmest parts of the year, you know, during the, the winter and whatnot, it doesn't last me the whole day. So this this is an attempt to overcome that and to do some other projects. So, all right, I'm done talking. You're done listening probably. So other than that, enjoy yourself.